used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town, trying to be cautious, showcasing my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. That's not how I'm living now. I did a 360, turn my whole life around. Now I roll the keys again, yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna go to heaven where there's no sin allowed. The sin is I converted and changed. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Okay. Now Beauties, this is CC, your frugal goddess. Um, I changed my mind because I think this is going to be a long video, and I'm going to have to stop it because I'm running out of memory. Um, but anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about my journey, my spiritual journey, and what I consider um, it'll be growth for me, okay. And this is going to be part of it. I got stuff all in the way. I don't know. Can y'all see that? But anyway, this is going to be part of it. Um, this area right here, I'm getting ready to turn into just my area, my space. I have my space in the bathroom, but my bathroom is such an open scheme that, you know, sometimes we need to get by ourselves. Sometimes we need to just... Ooh, and so this is going to be my area. I'm, I have a specific chair I want. I'm going to include a picture right here that I'm going to put here. I already have a table that I can use in here to go next to the chair. Um, it's clothes. You know, I do have clothes. It's my closet. But it's big enough for me to have the chair there and for me to have... Um, for me to have the chair and for me to have the table without it being cluttered and can, you know, just too cramped. Okay, and I can close the door. I have the door closed now. Um, I actually do have a do not disturb sign that I can put on there for when I may be meditating or if it is just a time that I need to separate myself and everything. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my journey. Um, I'm in this group, uh, Things Mama Never Told You, and one of my good friends, we have been friends on Facebook and social media for a while, but she asked, what are yoni eggs? And so I asked, I said, yoni eggs, what is, what is that? Is this something like Kegel weights? Um, I do have a set of Kegel weights. And matter of fact, I'm going to go get them now. So I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to delete some stuff off of here. I'm going to go get my Kegel weights. And I already have my Yoni eggs in here. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Okay, so let me stop this. Okay, so anyway, um, again, she asked. I'm not going to mention anyone's name in here except for people that I know that are public that do talk about the things that we're going to talk about. Anyway, so my friend mentioned the um, yoni eggs. And so I asked her, I said, well, what is that? Is it, you know, is it like Kegel weights? And um, she didn't answer back right away. So I Googled it. And I'm like, hmm, that looks interesting. Now, the, oh, ladies, this is going to be a really intimate discussion. Okay. So it, I don't know. I know some people, I do it. I watch videos around my husband or whatever. So if you do that, this probably is not one that you might want to watch around your husband or and or your children. Okay. Anyway, disclaimer. <laughs> so anyway, these are uh, Kegel balls or Kegel weights. And you guys, okay, let me say this. I have had, I have, I have had nine children. I have seven living children. I think I have had, um, I want to say about five vaginal births, okay? So, of course, I am a woman. I do my Kegel exercise and everything. But, you know, that our vagina is a huge muscle, okay? So, as, we, as women start to get older... Uh, you, that's how women get incontinent. Your muscles are not developed correctly, okay? As of yet, I don't have those problems. I do have, my cr I do have cr menstrual cramps and stuff. And they say a lot of that has to do with your muscles. So I decided, I said, you know, I'm over 40. And as we get older, we start to lose muscle tone, okay? I am over 40. And I don't have any incontinence problems or 
and I don't, you know, I enjoy my sex life, okay? So I don't I don't think I have that issue as far as uh muscle tone down there, but of course it's nothing wrong with keeping it up and keeping it developed. And for the younger ladies that watch me, it the, hey, the earlier you start and you work with this, the better off you will be. So anyway, these are Kegel weights. Now, this one right here, you guys, I used this. I had no problems uh, holding it in or whatever, but I am here to tell you, I cleaned it. I'm assuming I cleaned it properly. I did not boil it, but I did clean it. I, you know, I washed it. I rinsed it off with vinegar because, you know, y'all know about vinegar, okay? If you don't, leave the uh, comment down below and we'll have that discussion because we're going to have our intimate discussions and i think that's what i'm going to uh call the videos that i do it's not going to be a series y'all because y'all know i'm very inconsistent but it will be intimate discussions and it'll have a title to it anywho so i had this in y'all let me tell you this thing gave me a raging yeast infection y'all didn't understand me raging infection okay so i'm like i don't never want you know that ended my kegel weight journey okay that was the end of that um i don't know now i might ha be allergic to something in here because my body as i again as i've gotten older i notice i have more seasonal allergies i have um i'm sensitive to stuff uh, the t my skin has dried out. Now I know I live in the I do live in the desert, so I believe that has a lot to do with it. Anywho, so when I read about the yoni eggs, okay, I was like maybe that would be a lot better. I'm going to put a lot of information in the description bar because I do not want to have a 30 minute video, you guys. Okay. Um, because this is, I think this is so important, especially to us women. This is so important. So I'm going to put a lot of information in the description bar, uh, in the beauty bar down below. Okay, yoni eggs are natural eggs. This is a large jade yoni egg, okay? As you notice, this is considered a drilled yoni egg. I don't use the, um, the little, uh... I think it was fishing line, but they do tell you if you choose to use the drilled, the line, you should use um, unwaxed, unflavored dental floss. And you loop it through here and you uh, make you a little like a hook. And you, if you insert it this way, I insert mine this way and I'll explain to you why. Um, but... These are, this is jade, okay? This is jade. This is a large one. This is the small one. You are not seeing the medium one because I have it in. Okay, now yoni means sacred place. There are a few definitions, but I'm just going to use the definition sacred place. And as you know, the Bible tells us that our bodies are temples. And because of society today and because of the way we as women, we are we have learned our own sexual freedom. So, um, a lot of us abuse our yonis, our sacred place. Okay. Now, let me also say this to you. Uh, this is very important to me. This is I don't. I'm not doing this as a joke. This is not entertaining to me. This is very serious to me. This is as serious to me as me discussing God and Jesus with you. Okay. So, you know, if you feel that you want to make jokes or whatever, make them to yourselves, make them to your friends, make them to your husbands. Don't leave them down below, okay? This is very important to me, and I believe in this, okay? So, on to the purpose of yoni eggs. There are various yoni eggs. They say start out with jade because jade is a very strong crystal. Yoni eggs are from the earth. There are hundred, you know, there are crystals, and I can see I'm gonna have to make a lot of videos, okay? Because there's so much information I've discovered, and I want to give it to you guys because, ladies, divas, we need this. This we are. This is the birth of our inner diva, okay? So anyway, 
Um, with the yoni eggs, what the purpose of them is, like for myself, I have been raped. I've been sexually abused. I've abused my body myself. Um, I was molested when I was a child, a very young child. And so we, a lot of us, and I've had various sexual partners, okay? When you do this, you, um, I'm going to include a video down below. It's by Juanita Byman. I hope I can find it. It's called No More Sheets. And ladies, I really want you to watch this because it talks about similar to what I'm going to say. You know, when you have, as women, when we have sex with different men, we draw those men into our bodies. We pick up those men's habits. We pick up their idiosyncrasies. We draw in their generational curses that are on their families. We draw in their demons, all of that. We draw that into our body when they ejaculate in us and their semen and all of that. When they are pumping into us, we draw all of that into our bodies. Okay, now with yoni eggs, um, it is a process... And if you are interested in it, you can, I'm going to leave my email down below. You can email me and ask me anything you want to know. Um, you can leave comments down below. If you, I, if it seems like it's an intimate um, thing, I will not, I will just leave you in response my email address because I'm not going to just post all my business all over the world wide web. But anyway, we are drawing all of that into our bodies. So one purpose of the yoni egg is to cleanse and to draw that out of us. That's why I stated I put mine in this way. Because when you put it in small in first, its job is to draw. Now part of the yoni egg ritual is a lot of women that do exercises with the yoni eggs masturbate. I do not. And the reason I don't is because I really... Uh, me For me, masturbation is pleasure, um, that type of thing. And I'm not going to say I won't get off into it later on. But right now, I need my body to heal and to cleanse. And so, it's I look I don't look at either I don't associate either one of those with masturbation, but what I do is my shower area that I showed you in the other video, which will be linked down below. I go in the shower. I wash my body. Um, I did not show you my shower head. My shower head is a lighted shower head. I usually try to take my shower at night. I turn the lights out. I light my incense and my candle, and I pray. And I talk to God and I whisper to my yoni egg and I let my yoni egg know what I need from it. Okay. I cleanse my yoni eggs in the moonlight and I charge them in sunlight. And I have other crystals, which that will be in another video, which I'm getting ready. I'm going to show them to you though really quick because one of them is extremely beautiful. But I have other crystals and I will get more off into that. In another video, this is a clear quartz crystal, and you can use this um, once it is cleansed and whatnot. Isn't that not beautiful or what? I am not handling it because it has not been cleansed or charged. So I really don't want to handle it. I am, I am in such a beautiful place in my life right now that I don't want to interrupt it with anything. This is a mini angel. I'll show you this in another video. But anyway, you can... Cleanse your yoni eggs and any other crystals with a clear quartz like this once you have cleansed and charged it. Now, you can find a lot of information on Google. Again, I am in a group, and so in my group, that is where I learned to whisper to my yoni egg. And so I'm going to share my experience with you after I whispered to my yoni egg what happened, and then I'm going to end this video, and I'll come back in a couple of days, and we'll talk some more about this and like I said it will be intimate things um intimate things those will be the titles of the videos that we're discussing the yoni eggs and the crystals and all of that so um I saw in one of my groups that the lady said because I had been using the yoni egg okay I'd been using it and I was I don't know if I was getting something out of it or not okay I was using it I can't see what that says. But anyway, I was using it and um I was uh, I was getting muscle tone 
and whatnot. But I don't know. I wasn't. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Let's just anyway. So uh, the yoni egg, I would use it, put, insert it for a few hours, and it would expel itself, which that is part of the ritual. Okay, so. It would expel itself, and then you clean it, you rinse it off, uh, you rinse it off, you can rinse it with vinegar or what have you. However you choose to cleanse it, you can Google that, and you'll find it. If you choose to go this journey, you can Google it. And if you want to be in the Yoni groups I'm in, um, let me know that down below. They are on Facebook. So, anywho, uh, I, read, I read in my group, one of my groups, and the lady said that she whispered to her Yoni egg. And so I said... So now you want me to talk to the eggs. <laughs> okay. You do bond with them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to um, come back in a couple days and do a beginner yoni egg because this, this is kind of all over the place. But anyway, she says that she whispered to her egg. And you do bond with them. You put them in your bra. You can put them in a on a necklace around your neck. But you bond with them. Okay. So anyway... Um, she she was talking about that, so I said, "Well, I'm gonna try." So I did all my rich. I did everything. I lit my candles. I said my prayers, and I asked God to insert the spirits that He needed. God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. God, I I'm not, I don't know nothing about no other God. Okay, when I mention God, I'm talking about God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, Jesus that died on the cross for my sins. Okay, so yoni eggs are crystals that come from the earth. I believe that God instills any and everything that you need in the earth. The Bible tells me God created the heavens and the earth, okay? So, that's another disclaimer. I, you know, I held the egg in my hand and I was saying my prayers and I asked God to instill his healing and his power into this egg and to draw out all the hurt and the pain out of my out of my womb out of my um my inner spirit, my inner soul to draw it out. Ladies, let me tell you that again I inserted the yoni egg and when I tell you I went through something that night. I don't I I was cramping. I had cramps. I had I felt just I could I was tossing and turning. It was like I was going through a wrestling match. Um, I usually don't sleep like that, okay? I usually sleep pretty good. I had me a glass of wine, y'all, and I'm out for the count. That night, I tossed and I turned and I just just went through. I was cramping. I had these cramps all through here, not just here. I had them all through here. It was like something was literally, I was feeling something pulling from the inside of my body, seriously. And I know you, some of y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you. Because had somebody told me this story, I would have said, okay, they're nuts. Anywho, um, so I went through that. The next day, I got up. I went about my business. I still was having cramps. I was, um, I was just, I don't know. My body was going through something. And so, never experienced that anytime I, uh, inserted the yoni egg okay so finally the yoni egg expelled itself and ladies i promise you y'all gonna think i'm crazy okay but it sounded when the yoni egg expelled itself and i was washing it and everything it told me it needed a rest <laughs> okay seriously and i know how crazy and insane this sounds because it's as i'm saying it it sounds crazy but it's just the truth I felt my egg was overworked and it needed a rest. So I let that egg, I put it in the nest that I built for my yoni eggs and I let it get the rest. And I am going to, uh, I'm going to cleanse it with the moon. I'm going to moon cleanse it. What's wrong with you? Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Let Wait, me. Is this, your, is, this, is this your woman cave now? No. Hold on, y'all. I can't pause it. Oh! What the? Okay, so, um, as I said, my body went through a metamorphosis. And so, in after that process, um, I felt more connected with myself. I felt more connected with God. Um, I felt 
like a weight had been lifted off of me. And so it was certain things in that process that I felt that I needed to continue to do. So after the, as I said, after that, I felt so much better. And so then I had other crystals that I am learning to use. One is this, a rose quartz. And I do not, I don't look for this to do anything. I don't look for the yoni eggs to do anything without the spirit of God guiding them god created them he created this earth he created me okay i am at 17 minutes so i am going to end this right now uh i know i gave you so much i know i gave you so much but i am going to end this with you i'm going to continue my um my journeys and talk to you i will be back in a couple of days and let you see Go. That's the re, the plants, everything. Anyway, we're going to discuss the next um, intimate things will probably be a discussion on the plants and other things, the scents, because those are life essentials. OK, so that will be our next discussion. I love you. I want you to have a beautiful, blessed day. I want you to remember to be your own kind of beautiful and tell somebody you love them. Don't wait too late. Later.